It's the Magic of Math here, and today we're talking about proportional relationships with tables and equations. Here's our question today. A baker sells boxes of cookies. This table shows the total cost in dollars for different numbers of boxes of cookies. So here's your table of values. Here's your part A. This is a two-part question. Part A says based on the table, what is the total cost in dollars of seven boxes of cookies. I'd like you to pause here, find the total cost of seven a box of cookies. You have four answer choices, then come back and hit play. Welcome back. So we're looking to find the cost of seven boxes of cookies based on this information provided in this table. So we can see that we have number of boxes right here and when we buy three boxes, it costs $10.50, four boxes, $14, five boxes, $17.50. So we can see that it's increasing by one and that seven boxes of cookies would fall into place right here. So we go and adding one box, adding one box, and then all of a sudden this table of values jumps four boxes. Then we have the total cost here. So let's look at the relationship that exists in this table. When we go from three to four, we're increasing by one. And then when we go from 1050 to $14, that's an increase of $3.50. So we bought an additional box and it cost us an additional $3.50. When we go from four to five, we've increased by one box. And then from 14 to 1750 is another increase of $3.50. So we can see as we're increasing by one, we're increasing our cost by $3.50. Then when we come over here, we've increased by four boxes. So if we do four times 350, that would be $14. And when we do that, it is true. 1750 plus $14 is 3150. So once again, when we increased by one, it was $3.50 for an additional box. When we increased by four, it was an increase of $14. So you could find this $14 by subtracting $31.50 and $17.50. Another way to look at it is $3.50 times four should add $14. So now we're ready to figure out what seven boxes of cookies would cost because we know that each box of cookies costs $3.50. So I know that I wanna do seven times $3.50, which is also our unit rate, our rate of change. 7 times 3.5 on your calculator is going to give you a total of $24.50, which is answer choice C. Now let's do part B. Part B asks us which equation can be used to find C, the total cost in dollars of N boxes of cookies. So we still have our table of values. We have already found our unit rate or cost per box. I'm going to ask you to pause, determine which of these equations would be true, and then come back and hit play. Welcome back. So we're going to write an equation to represent this relationship. And we have the total cost, which is C in our table. And we have the number of boxes N, which is represented here in this table by N. So again, we want to know the cost, each one of these is C equals, so what does the cost equal? And then we look that it's going to be a value times, which is our dollar value, times the number of boxes N, which is unknown. So basically what they're asking you to do is write an equation and that you would put in for this N whatever number of boxes you want to purchase, and then it would calculate your cost for buying that many boxes. So we're going to replace our cost with the variable C. Our dollar per box, we know, we've already calculated in part A, was $3.50, and then the number of boxes is unknown. That's going to be our N. And then whenever we want to determine if we want to buy 100 boxes, we're going to do $3.50 times 100. So we can see that this is answer choice A. C equals 3.50 times N. And there you have it. That is how you represent proportional relationships with a table or with an equation. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math 
one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and you'll come back soon.